Hello and welcome to the latest of our Great Minds videos. Uh, Fred and I are here to show you briefly through a couple of the white wines we've tasted in the last couple of days. Um, I've got an Albarino that, uh, that I, I showed off on, uh, on uh, BBC Radio Oxford yesterday. Um, but before that, Freddie's going to talk us through uh, a Viognier, having run a, a, a tasting for our grape explorers in the last of the grape explorations uh, tastings that we ran last night. That's right, so it was uh, the final in the series and we got to try six different examples of Viognier, mainly from Chile and France, uh, but the standout favourites were the great value, high flavour, under £10 Viogniers from the south of France, and this is one of the two, uh, the Aurel Viognier from the Pays d'Oc, and the area in which this is made is a, is a kind of small area called Cottage de Libron, which has its own microclimate, uh, which lends a minerality to the fruit of the wine. Viognier is a grape that requires a long, uh, late harvest to really cook the, cook the grapes, add uh, fresh fruit, fruity flavours uh, to the wine, and uh, they also do this through mechanically hand harvesting techniques. Fermented in stainless steel, so there's a real focus on letting the fruit sing rather than any of the winemaking techniques, and it creates a, a lively, uh, aromatic, fragrant style uh, with that kind of hint of peaches and apricots, yeah. uh, both on the nose and the palate. And this is like one of those sort of round, um, the, the, the flat peaches that you get in at the beginning of summer in in, in little green which is like sticking your face in one of those. It's so, so intense. This this sort of white fleshed stone fruit is absolutely delicious on the nose. Mm. Ah, yeah. As you say, it's, it's lovely and soft. There's not a there's not a lot of acidity in there. It's just a, a rounded fruit flavour, and it's really pure. It's really focusing on the, the qualities of the grape. But it's dry. There's there's a sweetness on the nose, uh, but on the palate, it's completely dry. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's a lot. And what would you what would you have this with? I think you could pair the onion with uh, mildly spiced curry dishes, uh, even a tagine possibly, uh, mm. poultry, pork goes very well, or a soft cheese. Cracking. Ah, oh, very good, very good. Um, so the, the one I'm going to talk you through quickly is the Coral de Mar, Sea Coral uh, Albarino. Um, now all summer we've been talking about this wine because it is such a delightful, uh, fresh, uh, refreshing white wine. I love the grape, it's, it's sort of come to prominence over perhaps the last five years and increasingly people are aware of it and, and winemakers in Spain are, are being, are being cleverer with it. Um, and this is one of our one of our favourites. We've got five Albarinos, and they all show different aspects of the grape. Um, but this is probably the most minerally. It spends a little bit of time on the leaves, which softens out a small, yeah, a little bit of the acidity. But it's really, really lovely and fresh. Um, ah, yeah. So on the nose, you've got a real, really bright character. It's got a sort of nice. Uh, saline herbaceousness mm. that underlines the sort of green apple fruit. Um, and I was, I was having this yesterday, and it's it, you can tell how perfect it would be with the sweetness of, of seafood. Uh, obviously, that you know, pairs very well with with the local the local cuisine. Um, oh, what do you think of that, Fred? It's generous. There's, there's a richness to the, to the palate, and the, the leaves aging, which gives it length and real depth of flavour. It's, it's 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 not a difficult wine, but it's got a lovely kind of band of complexity. So again, when you when you do put it in your mouth, it fills up and it, it gives you more. It's not just the the thing that first hits your palate is all you get. It keeps on giving, and I, I really like that. So yeah, um, these are both open for as long as they last. Um, do come in and have a look at it. This is at thirteen ninety nine, and this is nine nine times past per case. Yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers. <laughs>